Florence, Italy. Many treasures of Renaissance art and architecture may be found in Florence, the capital of Italy's Tuscany province. The Duomo, a cathedral with a terracotta tile dome designed by Brunelleschi and a bell tower. Designed by Giotto, is one of the city's most prominent attractions. Michelangelo's David sculpture is on exhibit at the Galleria dell'Accademia. Botticelli's The Birth of Venus and Da Vinci's Annunciation are on display at the Uffizi Gallery. Some of the world's greatest artistic treasures may be found at Florence's museums, castles, and churches. The Cathedral, the Baptistry, the Uffizi, the Bargello, and the Academia are among Florence's most popular and important attractions. The Cathedrals of Santa Maria Novella and Santa Croce are real art galleries, while Michelangelo's architectural talent is on display in the Library of San Lorenzo. Explore some of the city's oldest streets until you reach the Arno River. Cross the Ponte Vecchio and visit Florence's newest neighborhood, the Oltrarno. Make time to visit the Pitti Palace, which houses a rich and diverse art collection. When you've had your fill of museums and monuments, get outside. Spend the day at the Boboli Gardens or ascend the hill to San Miniato al Monte Church for a breathtaking perspective of Florence, Italy. With its spectacular Renaissance dome constructed by Filippo Brunelleschi in the Baptistry. Directly across the street, Florence's cathedral towers over the city. The cathedral dedicated to Santa Maria del Fiore is a massive Gothic construction erected on the foundations of the 7th century church of Santa Reparata, whose ruins can be seen in the crypt. Arnefo di Cambio began construction on the cathedral at the end of the 13th century and Filippo Brunelleschi designed the dome that dominates the façade in the 15th century. Outside to the right of the cathedral, a statue of each of these major architects can be located, both appreciating their work for the rest of eternity. Isn't it amazing that the cathedral took two centuries to complete? Although the façade, front of the church, was barely half constructed at the time. The church was consecrated as soon as the dome was installed. It was seen as only ornamental, and hence remained unfinished until the 19th century. It was actually redone at that time by the likes of the period and finally completed which is what you see now. Climb to the pinnacle of the dome of the church for a spectacular view over Florence. Be ready to climb a lot of stairs. Autumn in Tuscany normally turns yellow and orange, creating a stunning panorama. Our region also celebrates all of its most recognized food products during this season, owing to which it has earned international recognition. So if you visit Tuscany, be prepared to discover a colorful and lovely nature while stuffing yourself with a variety of delicacies. Despite its immense size and the throngs of tourists who visit, the Franciscan Church of Santa Croce is a touchingly private site. Maybe because one feels as if one knows the people who are buried there. Piazza Michelangelo is the spot to go if you want to see all of the city's amazing panoramic vistas and watch a spectacular sunset. The viewpoint is located to the south of the historic district. Hope you liked the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.